And now... So yeah, so if you really want to go nuts with your fuzz, you can go something like that. Guitar, amp, sims in GarageBand. There's a bunch of them. They all do some pretty cool things. Let's dive in and take a look. We're here in a brand new project here in GarageBand. I have my guitar here and it is plugged in. Now I've got other videos here on the channel showing you how to plug in a guitar. And uh, what you need is some sort of interface. And if you wanna learn all the interfaces that I use and recommend, you can jump over to the gear guide, which is uh, at studiolivetoday.com slash gear. But I'm using my Steinberg UR22C to plug in my guitar here right now. So I'm here in a brand new project and I've scrolled across to amp because GarageBand actually has some surprisingly good amp sims in here that we can use with our electric guitar. So to get to these, we're going to tap on more sounds here and your guitar amps in GarageBand are separated into four different categories. We've got clean, we got crunchy, we got distorted and we got processed. Now, there are more than a hundred of these, so I'm not going to show you each and every one, but we'll do a quick demo of some of these so that you can see how it all works. So if we go to clean and we come in here to uh, American Tremolo, which is the first one that we have on here, it's going to give us this brown amp. And now all these amps say they're called different things, but they're actually like, you know, there's the Fender, there's the Orange, there's the Marshall. You'll be able to tell what they are, but for for uh, for what copyright reasons, I guess <laughs> they can't actually say what they really are. Now, when you come in here, if you're using a two-channel interface like I am, what you want to do is tap on this jack and then come in here and change it to whatever channel you're actually using. So, for instance, I'm using input two, so that's what I need to select here. And the other thing you need to do, if we go back, is turn on your monitoring because if you don't have monitoring on right now. Nothing's coming through yet. As soon as we turn on that monitoring, if I've set everything up correctly, it's all coming through. There you go. So what we can now do is come back out of here. And now when we play, and there you go, you got that tremolo sound because you've got this vibe pedal on here. So all of your different, uh, all your different amp sounds will have different. In fact, that do doesn't even have the vibe on. So it's just literally using the tremolo here on the amp. So every time you select a preset, it will uh, have an amp with a bunch of different settings. It'll sometimes have some stomp boxes here, and it will even sometimes use some plugins and EQ over here. This one's just got the noise gate on, but as we show some other ones, you'll see that it also turns on some of your plugins and uh, does a few other things as well. Now, I don't like the American Tremolo. I'm not really a fan of Tremolo. So let's scroll on down and find some ones that I would normally use a bit more. Now, if you haven't downloaded, if you don't have these tone collection ones here, what you need to do is go to your sound library and download them because there's a, a heap of them in there. If we go here to this screen here and we scroll back across and we go to your sound library here and we tap on this one, wrong mouse, we tap on this one. Uh, this will bring you into all of the different sound packs you have. And the one you're looking for is this one, the Tone Collection. Grab the Bass Amp Boutique as well. You're there. While we're not doing bass amps today, uh, you want to grab that one because they're free. And why not? And because these are just a bunch of presets, they don't use up much space at all. So get them because you might as well have them here if you're going to do this. So back to more sounds into our clean. So what I'm going to use, uh, I actually love this one here, the Rich Harmonics. I find that this is one of the best tones. It uses the orange type amp and a compressor. So it's pretty simplified. I don't think it even has any plugins and EQ. Oh yeah, it's got a second compressor on here. So it's added some compression here and it's using this squash compressor pedal, which can give you a nice even tone with your guitar. So if we play this one, actually, you know what? We've got to reset it up, don't we? Because we went out and we came back in again. So this is the one sort of semi, if you're using guitars, see I use microphones in channel one. If you're using mainly guitars, stick your guitar in channel one. It doesn't need to be in channel two. I just have it there because I always go mic one, guitar two. <laughs> Doesn't that sound cool? You've got a little bit of an uh, edge on there. And then if you look at all of these, you can see you've got a little bit of tremolo. You've got a little bit of reverb on here that's just giving you that, uh, that different sound there. So uh, I'm going to use this and we're going to record in a part here. And I'm just going to do a bit of a... Let's just record a bit of that sort of sound, shall we? So we'll uh, come in here, we'll hit the record button, and we'll record in. 
We'll try that again. I was in a weird position there when I hit record. We'll go back. In fact, what we're going to do, I'm going to give myself some lead in here. So remember, you've got you've got time here. It's like Back to the Future. You've got a time machine. So let's make this 12 bars. That way I'll give myself two bars counting to get comfy. And then we can play in. All right, I'm going to use the, uh, I'm going to use the neck pickup because this is a bit of a rhythm part. So let's uh, hit record. Two, and we'll give ourselves two just to get... Just to get stable. Two, three, let's go. That was really not play well, was it? Can we resurrect something from that? <laughs> Can we resurrect that second take? Because I reckon the second half was a bit better. We'll just go with it. Uh, this is just for demo purposes here, so we'll, we'll we'll do the best we can. Is that where we kicked in? No, it's the next one, wasn't it? I think it's from here. Yeah, so there you go. So you can hear there that you're getting a reasonable tone. And you can do the same things here, like looping things like this, that you can do in any other uh, garage band instrument. So we'll just bring that, we'll pop it in the middle there. Uh, let, let's give ourselves, you know what you need? We need a bit of drum behind this, don't we? So let's grab a drummer, uh, probably Kyle, because Kyle's our man. Oh no, let's let's go let's go something different, because we always go Kyle, don't we? Why don't we go, uh, who's who's the, Darcy. Darcy's our uh, modern uh, drummer that we can use. Where did you go, Darcy? I thought I saw you there. There you are, songwriter, pop songwriter, drummer, Darcy. Uh, and again, we'll just bring this so that it's, oh, that was weird. We have both of those selected. Deleted. Bump. So we'll just give a, let Darcy do a little bit of work over these four bars. And then, uh, yeah, we'll let it go across the whole lot. All right. So now we've got a bit of drum behind this. So. Yeah, let's go with that. All right. So, so there you go. You, you, we've recorded in a clean tone there. Let's now build this up. We'll put our drums up the top here. Tap, drag, put them there. And let's add in another guitar track. Now, because I've already got my guitar set up, what I tend to do is just duplicate this out. So we'll tap on that one and we'll tap duplicate. That means that your monitor settings that you've already got here, everything else is all set up and uh, it's going to be on the right uh, input now. Because remember before, it defaults to input one. But if we use this one, guess what? We come in here now, it's already on input two. So we've already got our guitar going. All right, let's uh, let's start playing with some fun tones. So clean's fine, but crunchy's better, yeah? So you've got a heap of different crunchy tones in here as well. Uh, so uh, your Americana crunch, if you want to go with a bit of that sort of sound. That, uh... Again, the tremolo, which I'm not a huge fan of. So uh, I don't tend to use that one very much. Uh, modern UK kind of sound, which is, of course, on a uh, Marshall kind of sound at amp. So you can hear that you're getting that higher gain kind of sound now because you're using this, this H drive treble boost. You've got a little bit of the uh, overdrive happening on the amp here. And if we go to our plugins and EQ, yeah, again, we've got nothing going on there. Let's uh, find something a little bit different. So what I like, I really dig uh, the Sunshine Drive is probably my favorite default tone with the orange amp here. <laughs> So that, that sound, uh, I think, is pretty cool. And uh, the other one that I super dig is the uh, Rio Grande, which uses this vintage drive sound. So I'm, try I'm trying to find if any of these amps in particular have anything over here. Yeah, so this one's got the compressor and a noise gate on there by default. But this one, I think, sounds uh, pretty darn cool if we... Uh... If we put it onto our, all of our pickups here, we're going to... So what we want to do is let's find a, let's just sort of play around and find a part that's going to work on top of this uh, clean guitar. I'm just going to, let's just experiment. We'll hit record. Uh, the first pass was no good, but the second one will do. So we're going to come in here 
and uh, just select that second one. Now you can see there that I've probably got the, uh, the gain down a little bit too low here on my guitar. I probably would want to turn that up a little bit uh, in, on the input. In fact, we'll, we'll try that with the next one because you do need to make sure you're setting your input gain at the right level. But if we, uh, if we come in here and we play this now, we've got this sort of sound going on. And there, once again, we can loop this out. And again, we're just uh, creating ourselves a bit of a basic loop just so that you can hear some of the different tones that we get here with these sounds. Let's hit the plus button again. In fact, no, don't hit the plus button. Do what I said I usually do, which is duplicate out that track. And now this time we're going to tap again and uh, we'll check out some of our distorted tones, shall we? So distorted tones, there's a bunch of good distorted tones in here. Some of them are a little bit ins insane. So if you go with something like the fuzz overload, you're going to get a... Oh, hang on. Why, why is that not going through? Did we not have it? Oh, we didn't have a monitoring on. There you go. Flick on your monitoring. And now... So yeah, so if you really want to go nuts with your fuzz, you can go something like that. Um, I don't tend to do music that requires that sort of thing. So my favorite one in here, uh, not surprisingly, because I'm a Seattle guy, is something like the Seattle sound. So you're going to get like a... bit of a stone gossard fender kind of sound on that one uh, or one that i do really dig as well funnily enough is a power chord because i love playing power chords so you get a nice big gutsy crunchy tone there with your power chord tone which i kind of dig so uh what, what are we going to go here so we're going to play we'll, we'll play probably some more power chord type stuff to go Yeah, let's, let's do something like that where we just play that sort of thing over the top. Put our metronome back on so we can actually hear our beat this time as we come in. We'll just play some nice long sustained power chords using this one. recorded that in and now we've got three layers of guitars so you can see how quickly and easily you can start layering up your guitar sounds and not every one of these is going to be the best sound and I'll show you a, a couple of things you can do a bit later if you want to kind of tweak the sound because don't forget we've got this here but we've also got all of these over here that we can use our plugins and our AQ that we can sculpt these sounds all right we'll take the monitoring off those two we've got one last type of guitar to look at here we'll duplicate that one out and we'll tap on here and that is probably one of the most fun types of guitars, which is our processed guitars, because this is where you can get a little bit fun and have a little bit of uh, have a little bit of uh, something different. So we've got a bunch of them here. We've got things like the Chorus Shimmer, which is exactly what it sounds like. You've got to turn our monitoring back on. I wish it would default the monitoring on, but it doesn't. That's okay. Probably best because it doesn't blow your head off. But. So yeah, you can hear what you got going on there. You've got some echo, you've got some chorus, you've got some vibe there. Do we have anything over here on this one? Uh, no, we don't. Let's uh, let's find something really funky. Dreamy texture. Uh, what have we got here? Yeah, so there, <laughs> you see here we're starting to get a whole bunch of pedals involved here. I'm just trying to find one. Endless ambient. Here you go. So here's one that has the, uh, the amp there. It's got the chorus. It's got the robo flanger. It's got a compressor. It's got uh, track reverb and compression. And it's even got some EQ on here to roll off the bottom end. So we're getting get a really trebly kind of sound. If we play on this one. So yeah. And it, it is what it says. It's endlessly ambulance. Ambulance? <laughs> That's a bit different. Uh, Palace of Mirrors. I knew I'd kill you in a hall of mirrors. So you got the same sort of thing. You got some real sort of. Yeah, you can see how fun this gets. You play around all day. And I've actually used some of these and come up with some ideas based on the sound you get. 
right? It's, it's pretty fun. Uh, so my favorite one here by far is the Dublin Delay, which uh, probably named because it's a bit of a U2 kind of sound. So if, you, if we play something with this one... <laughs> So you're getting that uh, that nice delay sound with the vintage drive as well. So you're getting a bit of a distorted tone in here as well. So uh, let, let's play. Uh, let's try and see if we can go against what I believe in and play a guitar solo. So we're. So. Right, that's where we'll start it. So uh, we'll just hit uh, the record button and we'll record in our solo. One, two, three. Let's go. There you go. So uh, that is our four different types of guitars. But the fun doesn't end there because obviously we've recorded these in here. We've just got some guitars and some drums. Uh, what we can do now, though, is we can add in some bass guitar. Now, what, what key did I play this in? Is it in B or is it in A? Can't remember. But that first chord is a B. So what we can actually do is you can add in some bass here by just coming over and... Uh, Let's just grab the bass instrument, shall we? We'll grab this one here. More sounds. Probably want something like a P bass in this one. And uh, we'll just, uh, we'll play it in here with the notes. So. Yeah. So we'll just uh, play a very simple bass line in here. So we'll just come to number three. Boop. And hit record. Two, three, four. <laughs> So the beauty of this is that we can bring together our virtual instruments like the P bass there with our guitar recordings and we can start doing this and of course you can then go in and add strings and add keys and add synth sounds and add anything you want to your heart's content. You can then of course also mix this. So what would I do with this? Well, I want to bring these sort of things. So the Rio Grande and the Dublin Delay, they're kind of our lead guitars. So what I would normally do is I'd pan one of those left, I'd pan one of those right. And with these guitars, maybe I'd even want to like push one sort of semi left and one semi right. And then just, uh, we'll just mute out these. Let's just uh, mix the volumes of these to make sure they're sitting right. So uh, we hit play. <laughs> Uh, and then, of course, you've got all of your plugins and EQs here. So if you did want to do some additional EQing, so this one's got a bit of a treble boost. So if I didn't want that, I could remove that. You can uh, change things around. If you, you had too much rumble in the low end of one, say I didn't like the, the, the low end of this, I could roll off the bottom end so it's not competing with the bass and uh, do whatever mixing I needed to do there. Uh, and then uh, we, we bring it all back together. And uh, you can very quickly bring together a nice little guitar arrangement, something like this. The guitar amp sims here in GarageBand, who knew they actually have some pretty darn decent tones worth checking out for sure.